Ooh. You do it? Yes. Okay. Sir Uncle! I hope we didn't kill the pilot. Huh? Great Scott! She's just a kid! Get back! I'll never give names to you! So just back off! What? Five seconds until detonation. Four. It's gonna self destruct! Two. Get down, sir! Whoa! Ah. Must you drive like that? You hear that explosion? You don't think that was Dad causing more trouble? This one's pretty impressive. Hey, Dad! Daddy! Answer me! Uh, well, hurry up uh, and get over there! Who knows what kind of mess he might be in? All the more reason to go and help, right? Sit down, we're heading out. Uh, ah! Easy on the clutch! Try and find the location there on the map, big brother. We can't rely on this system's GPS. Yeah, right. <laughs> this is a rescue mission, Cindy, not a story, okay? <sighs> Hey, are you all right, Dollface? Somehow. Made it by the skin of our teeth, didn't we? Oh, you look a bit wobbly there. I'm all right. Are you? Well, the girl looks okay. She can't be more than 14 or 15 years old. Sir Uncle, she's fine. Leave her alone. You don't want to get involved in her mess. I'm your doll face, what aren't I? What is wrong with you, doll? Well, you like her better than you like me. Hey, 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 hey. calm down. I know. You're, you're leaking oil from your eyes. Whoa. Yeah, I know. And now I hear this beep, beep, beep in my head. You took a hit. <laughs> if I just hit this, then I will make it better. What are you going to do there? If I just Hey, be careful now. Watch what you're doing. What? Sir, Uncle, are you hurt? What now? Huh? Look, someone will be looking for that LEV and trace the explosion. We gotta get out of here and fast. I have no idea who these people are, but they have power. So step on it. Okay, step in. It's no good. Signal's dead. No answer. It's dead? No response. Signal's gone, so her Nate's self-destructed. That's what caused the shockwave. She's gone? Rebecca? She probably set it to self-destruct. To keep it out of enemy hands. <sighs> Where do you think you're going? Really? Aren't you at all concerned about Rebecca? Don't you even care? Axel, it's the job, okay? This is how it works. Let's determine the location of the explosion and follow through. You're always by the book! That's right. We wait for the rescue unit and begin the search when they arrive. That's the way it's done. But she's our commanding officer! And as such, Rebecca would make the same call if it were one of us out there. <sighs> Please be okay, Rebecca. We don't have to go this fast, okay? Slow down. But, Sir Uncle, you said we should hurry. We'll be at the power plant pretty soon. We're there. Huh? Oops, that didn't last. What? Whoa! Did you like my finale, Sir Uncle? <laughs> yes, thanks a lot. I'm still feeling a little punchy. Well, that much is very clear. Wind-powered operation plants are mostly unmanned, so we shouldn't have anything to worry about. I know they have periodic inspections, so the place should be well supplied. The storm ought to keep any trackers from getting to us for a while. So, we'll rest, and you can make repairs, okay? It's obvious you need some adjustments. Yes, I should have what I need here. The 
facilities for maintenance and repairs are adequate. I can use these for the LEVs and, and plug into the system control. Sounds good. Come on, you. Sir Uncle, what will you do with that girl? I'm going to take her to the sick bay and see if she has any injuries. You're not going to take her clothes off. Huh? That's not right at all. It's all right, dollface. I'm just going to make sure she's OK. No! <sighs> That's wrong, wrong, wrong. Calm down. What are you thinking? She's a kid, and I've raised two of my own, so it's not like I haven't seen it all. I said I'll do it. I can do both. Oh, what about the repairs you need to make? You get dinner ready after you put her in sick bay, and I will take care of everything else. And that's the way it's gonna be, okay? Well, okay. Are you awake? You're not hurt, just so you know. What's that? I checked very carefully, and everything is fine. What's going on, Isis? No, it's Dolores. I'm an orbital prey. You're Isis, and there must be something wrong with you because you're acting strange. No, I'm feeling better now, actually. And my name is Dolores. Come in, Axel. Come in, Ruli. Do you copy me? The radio's dead. What is the current situation here, Isis? Give me details. My name is Dolores. I said, tell me the current situation here, Isis. And I said, my name is Dolores. I give you a direct order. You should be programmed to answer it. Now tell me what I want to know, Isis. It's Dolores. 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 Come on. You are not Dolores. You're Isis. Isis, Isis, Isis. Dolores, Dolores, Dolores. Oh! You seem to be very confused. You're not Dolores, whether you like it or not! I am, I am, I am! Dolores, Dolores, Dolores! Have it your way, Dolores. Sir Uncle and I brought you here. This is a wind-powered power plant. Who is Sir Uncle? Hey, Charles on! Okay! It's dinner time, it's dinner time. Oh, I'm glad to see you're okay. She is. Stop right there and don't move any closer. <laughs> you don't think I would have left you with a loaded weapon, do you? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're smart enough to have snuck this one by me. I can't believe you tricked me. You see, Sir Uncle is really very smart. Yes. Very. <laughs> Eat up. So, tell me. I'm not talking to you. Okay. Quite the soldier there, aren't you? So, let's see. You're a pilot from the Buffrom Army then, right? I'd guess that you've come this way from Bashiria County. I already told you I have nothing to say. <laughs> well, let's eat instead of talk then, shall we? Otherwise, it'll get cold. I refuse to eat any earth or food. What? But it looks quite delicious, doesn't it? Oh, perhaps you do not trust your uncle's skills in the kitchen. I'm sure Sir Uncle is a wonderful cook. After all, he's lived alone a long time. Let's not get personal. I refuse to take charity from the enemy. Are we the enemy? Sir Uncle, why are we the enemy? We're not the enemy. Did Sir Uncle say or do something bad? I said nothing. Oh, that's enough. What did you do to that orbital free? Dolores, I don't know. She was like that when she came to me. So then you're telling me it had a defect already when you went and stole it from Naredum? When I stole it? Do you mean she came from Neradum Universal Technology? <gasps> Is that the place where I was born? <gasps> Why don't you just eat now? You still won't get any information. And I have no intention of forcing anything out of you. I know a lot of things. My name is Rebecca Hunter. Rebecca's a nice name. I'm glad to see you weren't hurt. This food is too freaking spicy. Uh, just eat it. I can't believe this sandstorm. I can't even see my feet. Let's go. What a drag. Uh, over here.
Rebecca! Rebecca! Stop! We've received an order to abort the search due to the storm. But we can't do that! Camaria County has never experienced a storm like this one. They're not equipped for it. If we press too hard, we'll be risking more people's lives. The cockpit hasn't been recovered. If you ask me, I think your commanding officer's been taken prisoner by enemy forces. Uh. Rebecca, just hang on. No matter what, I'm going to save you. stopping here just look at the storm outside the window if we try to continue we'll get trapped it could blow the whole transport away isn't there a town or outpost nearby we could try to head to we could find some decent shelter there at least make up your mind one minute it's hurry and the next you say stop well there's no point continuing on now since no one is going to be moving in this storm and i can't fall asleep unless i have an actual bed you know if we keep moving now, you'll be sleeping permanently, idiot! I'm just telling you the facts! You don't have to bite my head off! As if I even care! I thought she couldn't sleep without a real bed. A table seems a good enough substitution. Yeah, and with our blankets. Well, don't wake her up. At least it's quiet for a change. You know, she's not bad when she's quiet. Big brother? Well, I'm not saying I like her or anything. I'm just saying she's not so bad as all. If you say so. Don't you start with me. Stop being so touchy. I didn't mean anything. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, I just hope Dad is all right. If Dolores is okay, then he should be too. That's true. La, la, la. La, la, la. <laughs> hmm. At Rebecca, I wonder if she still has parents. They must be awfully worried. When kids get to be Noel's age, it's a little easier not to worry so much. I don't think that's true at all, Sir Uncle. Okay, perhaps I still do worry. Even though she's an adult and can make her own decisions. But she is my little girl and always will be, you know. And it's my job as her daddy. I mean, look at this pilot. See all the things that can go wrong? Of course I huh? see. But you can't watch them all the time, Sir Uncle. Like in the shower. Well, of course not. Would you like to watch Rebecca in the shower? She's just a kid. What are you thinking? I'm sorry. It just crossed my mind. What do you take me for? There's still something screwy in your wires. I'm still fixing it. It'll be okay. We'll work on that until you get it all straight, okay? Okay. But where are you going? I'm going to the toilet. this oh great hey someone let me out what's going on what are you doing here oh Rebecca I've locked all the doors in the power plant I cut all the power and the old man is trapped in the bathroom if you want to let him out again, you'll have to come to Buckram with me. But I can't do that. Well, then he'll just stay in there and asphyxiate when the oxygen runs out. You have no choice. Believe me, I'm an expert at this game. There's no way to reconfigure the computer without my password, so he's locked in for good. And if you try to bust him out by destroying the building, you'll probably drop it right on his head. I'm under orders and I intend to carry them out. I understand. Hmm. Stop steering so recklessly! I expected trouble from Isis. Not Isis, I'm What? 
Is this a joke or something? 10% power? Status report! I can't hold the window up! Why didn't you dodge it? You could have moved! My repairs were completed! Even if I wanted to move, I wasn't ready! <sighs> My error for not checking beforehand. I'm sorry! Orbital frames don't apologize! At this rate, we'll be buried under the windmill for sure! We've hit bedrock! We won't sink further, but we're stuck! Rebecca, I think I can dig a hole so we can get out again! There's too much sand around us. If you dig a hole, it will just keep filling in. Oh. Well, it sure looks like we're both going to die here under this stupid thing. I'm still sorry, even if I'm not supposed to be. You're a weird orbital frame, you know that? I can't believe you agreed to save that Earther. Why? Because he's just a bumbling old worthless man. Oh, but that's not true. Sir Uncle is a wonderful person. Someone must have wrote that into your program for you to believe that. No, you're mistaken. I have come to that conclusion on my own from traveling with him. Sir Uncle is very brave and trustworthy. He always tries to do the right thing and he protects me just as if I were one of his own family. Oh, he loves his family so much, and that's why I want to help him with anything I can. I would do anything for Sir Uncle. Do anything. Well, I guess it's only a matter of time until you're immobilized, huh? Dolores! Yes? You're getting out of here. Recheck all systems immediately. Do it! Right! It looks like the overall power from the engine systems is dropping. Even if we secure a line, we don't have enough strength to get out, do we? With this output, the active laser's useless, but what about the vector trap? <gasps> That's it! Do you have enough power reserved for the vector trap? What is that? You mean you don't know you have a vector trap? Sorry, there are lots of parts of me that I have not figured out yet. A vector trap has a function which compresses the surrounding space and takes in ten times the weapons and equipment as what's on you right now. Oh. You should have one here somewhere. <gasps> Found it! If we use this, we have a fighting chance. And I can save Sir Uncle. We'll compress the sand surrounding your body. Then there will be a space for a moment in which you will be able to move, slip up through under the windmill, and we'll be free. Do you think you can do it? Yes. I will try. If you guide the vector, I'll do my best. Don't worry about me. I used to work these puppies on the nath. Okay. You've got about a two to three second window of opportunity, okay? I understand. It will be enough. It'll have to be. You ready? All right. Okay. Vector trap, engage! You did it! I did! I did do it! I feel heavy! That's because you're still carrying all of that compressed sand in your vector trap. We'll just reverse the direction and it'll release. Better! Oh, that's so wonderful and amazing! I had no idea! I can't believe you don't know all this. Well, shouldn't we get going? Huh? Wait a minute! But Rebecca, I promised I would go to Buffroom. You think I'm going to take this piece of junk with me to Buffroom? Huh? We've got repairs to make. We'll return to the power plant so you can get yourself in proper order, all right? What about Sir Uncle? He'll be fine for a while still. Right! Just so there's no misunderstanding, I thought you should know that as long as he's trapped, you're my prisoner. All right. So, who's your prisoner there? Sir Uncle! Hey, how did you get out? You forgot one thing, Rebecca. These facilities are designed so that in the event of an emergency, all the locks will automatically release so that no one will be trapped inside. Prisons are like that too, you know. I hope you won't pull another stunt like that again. Hey, doll! Watch our guest and make sure she stays out of trouble. And put some clothes on before you catch cold or something. You be quiet. I don't take orders from you. You might want to also turn up the heat then. And why not sing her a lullaby so maybe she'll relax a little? Lullaby? 
Sir Uncle really likes this song. Good night, sweet dreams to you. Riding on a ship of clouds. Spread your white wings. Cover me softly.